HGTV background music. Ooh, here we go. Welcome to your stereotypical Los Santos middle class home. Here you'll find a lovely open kitchen space that leads out to the living room. Everything coincides together. It's a beautiful blend of hospitality and party city. You have a lot of fun in here, but you can also have a lot of class. Let's go into the bedroom. This is the master bathroom. <laughs> Two sockets in one room. Three bunk beds, one that hits the ceiling. Uh, we decided not to put a ceiling fan in here, otherwise it would decapitate one of your kids. We literally only have one bedroom in here and one bathroom. So if you have a really nice, happy family, I hope you guys enjoy all sleeping together. We've got the Pixar lamp on a table. If that doesn't make you want to buy this house, then uh, maybe these, maybe alcoholism will. Because <laughs> you can't afford a fireplace, but you sure as hell can afford a $5,000 AC unit. That's supposed to be a window unit, but they put it in the fireplace. Also, if you like spooky stuff, we've got a floating microphone. Wowza. This is priced at $425,000. However, for you, we'll drop it down to four hundred and fifteen. dollars Look at these drawers. Yikes. Still too much? Yeah, of course. Did I mention it's actually in L.A.? <laughs> oh, no, that makes sense. Oh, my. Okay, well, now we've got the same space. Oh, this is like a before and after. You know, you know, in HGTV where they have the before and afters? This is the after. Welcome back, everybody. This is a house makeover tour, 2021. We've kept ourselves busy this year, refinish, uh, refinishing all of the drawers. We added some candles to really get a nice little intimate scenario right behind the ramen noodles so college students still feel welcome in the kitchen without losing their mind. Unfortunately, we had to downgrade the stovetop in order to upgrade the living room. And also this couch right here that nobody's going to use. Look at that sound system. That sound system's $15,000. We could have bought a huge, nice, renovated stovetop, but instead, we've got bass. And as that one song goes, we're all about that bass, no treble. And here you'll find one bed. And a jersey signed by... Pedro, and that's why we voted for him in Napoleon Dynamite. Very important stuff, guys. And here you'll find the bathroom. We've got some fake plants, because we know you aren't going to water it anyways if it was real. Even though there's a shower and you could easily detach the shower head and reach over to the plant and fuel it with water. That's too much responsibility for a gamer. So we decided to throw in an Illuminati triangle because we all know you sell your soul when you become famous. Wow. And we're back! What's up gamers? Welcome to my home. As you're probably wondering, what changed? What changed? Absolutely nothing, but this time we have Pete Davidson, celebrity guest from SNL. <laughs> hey, this is the computer where I watch videos finding out about the tragedy of an event that conspired that my dad was a part of. That's funny. This is my bedroom where I write jokes about my dad. This is the bathroom where I cry at night because Ariana Grande broke my heart. Right here's the couch, where I sit and watch live musical performances of Ariana Grande, who broke my heart. And 
And that's ramen. I eat that every day. Also, I, I mean, I gotta look like a noodle somehow. You are what you eat. <laughs>